Sí, 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 Looking at the goals of management and in considering the objectives, I made reference to inclusivity. And I said that the first sentence is needed out. The views of the victim and the community are extremely important. And so at this stage, I want to speak to the presenter's report that this court was given. Uh, um, I must thank the probation department because they gave me an extremely detailed report. <coughs> comes out of that report is this, that the accused person before this court is 33 years old. His parents are alive, he has two siblings too. From the report, are also alive. It speaks to their permanent place of abode at Buta Estate, which is just adjacent to the next major barracks within a few counties. He indicates that this accused person completed his secondary school education in the year 2010. He then joined the Kenya Polytechnic and completed his training in the year 2011, where he qualified by being conferred with a diploma in food production. The court says that thereafter, and again, this was critical for this court, he moved to Dubai where he received training in tactical military at Dubai Police Academy and by a group known as Ogara Group. He says that Ogara Group is a security firm with presence in Dubai, United Kingdom, and several European countries. And eventually, after that training, he was licensed to offer private what indicates that at the time he was arrested, he was providing security in Kenya mostly to persons in political sector, and he was at an advanced stage of registering his own security firm. Outside his training and daily The report indicates that he's a staunch Christian. He has sung, produced several uh, music videos, and um, was actively involved in church activities. His father indicated that. When this offense was committed, he was in a relationship with one Jacqueline Maribe, who was his co accused, and they were planning to formalize their relationship. At the time of the offense, they were both residing at Royal Park Estate in Langata, and they had resided together for over one year. In condition, the report indicates that he suffers from asthma since childhood. And that is usually triggered by cold and dust that is on medication. It is indicated that he has developed now problems and that arose out of 
Afghan incident which we spoke to in the judgment and in this matter. But it said that the same is treated by painkillers which give him relief. From the offense, the court said that at this person it was not out of provocation, it was planned, it was intended. And those who do not subscribe to Christian faith, bear with me. I do. And that's the only place I could get with my school. The book of Job, chapter one. Verse 12 to 13 is what is written. I think I looked at the with NIV, you can find out. This is the same thing. This is what the Lord said to Satan. Lord, all that he has is yours. Only. Do not lay a hand on his heart. Behold, all that he has is yours and is in your power. Only do not lay your hand on his heart. Provision of life is the creature of God. And I find no room anywhere for a person to take another person's life and love him. In my very final conclusion, join me in listening to these wise sayings of mother. One, in the act of murder, one person's life ends, but Countless number of lives are forever impacted. I will read again. In an act of murder, one life, one person's life ends, but a countless <coughs> number of lives are forever impacted. And Mother leaves behind a trail of shattered dreams and broken hearts that can never be healed. Mother leaves behind a trail of shattered dreams and broken hearts that can never be healed. I said that this person before 33 years, the defeat was 28 years. Act of murder is a heinous crime that challenges the moral fabric of society and demands justice. So it is not just a loss to the needed family, of course, it is in the highest degree that is a loss to the society. One, two, three, and one. Based on everything I have said, I have ordered. That the first accused person before this court being